when it comes to Atlanta, I have a few other questions about the city. Right. What is your opinion on the Water Boys? <laughs> hey man, listen. Now see, I, just, I respect the hustle of the Water Boys. I respect the hustle of the Water Boys because that's a, um, I mean, that's a that's a young man. That's that's the way they trying to get the money. They not begging. The, well, they begging, but it's like they could be doing something else. You know what I'm saying? But on the other end, I just don't respect the the way they doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because at first. I used to give them money all the time. I used to give them stacks of money. Like, come down there with the, the hundreds that I ain't spend from the strip club, just getting it to them. Uh huh, uh, you ain't home, but uh, appreciate it, bro. Appreciate it. But now I don't even, man, I just keep pushing, man, because they be doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Like, why you why you got your got why you got your body in that person's car? You don't even know them. Your whole body in that car. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a whole, I seen that thing the other day, man. It was a lady, man. Man, that man whole bottom part of his body was in her car. You feel what I'm saying? He might well just, just whooped it out and just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, man, what's wrong with these boys, man? And they were all over a car. Only thing they didn't do was climb on top of it. You feel me? I'm like, man, y'all crazy. And and it like, it too many. And I feel, I, I really feel like like somebody got to like come up with a strategy to teach them that. You know, you can do that without causing confusion. You know what I'm saying? Because they young. They don't know. They trying to get some money. You know what I'm saying? And ain't nobody really telling them nothing. They just like, get out of my car. Get out of my car. You know what I'm saying? And some people scared to tell them something. You feel what I'm saying? They don't know. And when it comes to strategy, I didn't know if you had one by any chance. My, my strategy, I was thinking, I was like, hey, man, we need to go pick these little dudes up, man. For real. You know what I'm saying? And teach them how to sell it. You know what I'm saying? Because I seen a man one day in the hood with a pack of socks. He was homeless. You know, I bought a pack. Next time I came through, he had a hundred packs. Um, a year later, I come back. No, two years later, I come back. He's he had a whole like crate. You know, the little white crate sitting outside in front of the Family Dollar. And I'm like, dang. I'm like, dang, what's up? You got you a whole little thing now, full of socks. He like, yeah, man. He said, I appreciate you always messing with me. He said, get what, scrap? I'm a millionaire now. I was like, what you what you got going on? He was like, shoot, that my, my car right there. I had a whole, had a done. And I'm like, oh, okay, but why you, you know what I'm saying, selling socks right here? He was like, but that's how I got rich. I was selling socks. I just stacked my money. I ain't even go buy a house. I just stayed stayed out in the street till I got all my money up. He said, I'm here now. You know what I'm saying? I was like, damn. You know what I'm saying? Homie ain't hurt nobody. He ain't rush up in nobody's car. He just got it out the mud. You know what I'm saying? That was a two-year difference. How was his manners when it came to selling socks, from what you remember? It was, it was, it was comfortable. He made me comfortable. He made me, like, want to always pull up on him and, like, if I ain't uh, catch the mall or something, I just want to pull up on them. You know what I'm saying? Let me get, let me get a sock. Let me get a pack of sock, bro. Mm. So you would actually really use the socks. You weren't just accepting oh, yeah. it just as a no, way to I mean, help somebody. Yeah, I mean, I, I I did it at first like that, but then I was like, Cubby having the socks. Like, <laughs> I don't feel like going to the mall and pull up on bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, uh, well, was it anything specifically that he did to make you feel comfortable? Just in case maybe a water boy is watching this and wondering, mm -hmm. what did he do different that maybe they're not doing different? Or maybe nah, they're doing he just similar. he approached the situation different. You know, he 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 came in to sell, but he wasn't trying to harm nobody. Like he he really was offish. Like, hey, how you doing? I I got these socks right here. You want to buy some socks? You know. It'll help me out if you buy some socks, you know what I'm saying? Like, and we knew it help it would help him out, you know what I'm saying? So, like you, and and I think he was in the where he was at. It wasn't a whole bunch of people doing that, you know what I'm saying? So he was able to make money because it wasn't really no no. You don't see people standing on the corner selling socks, you know what I'm saying? So he he was in a a, a different location from anybody else that was doing that. And all these guys, the water boy, they in the same place. You can't go over there with your partner 
you know what I'm saying, trying to do the same job. You gonna have to go to the down the street, and I don't care what you say. I'd be like, boy, my thing ain't even booming. My my, I don't care how big my junk is. I don't care how good I'm bunting. I ain't making nothing. <laughs> you feel me? Cause I'm gonna go right back there tomorrow, and I'm gonna leave y'all where y'all be at. They just gotta spread it out, man. They gotta, you know, like, and if they a partner, they gotta come up with a strategy. Like, like I don't know how they think. You know what I'm saying? Like. Like I tell my dog too, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't want them out there doing that no way. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? You can't tell a hungry person, you know, how to eat. You feel me? So, you got to deal with the consequences, good or bad, whatever decision that is. When you were growing up in Atlanta, was that something that uh, was going on in the city as well? Was a water boys, was selling water or a water boys phrase, was that a thing as well? Or no, that wasn't even back I mean, then? Every, 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 you know, not like that. That wasn't the, the thing. Because you might have, like, somebody with their kids out there selling water. You know what I'm saying? Like, somebody, like, probably trying to teach their kid how to hustle. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't, like, how it is now. Like, it wasn't a thing. You know what I'm saying? The water boys, like, what the fuck? When you were growing up, did you ever sell water yourself? Did you ever sell socks yourself or no? I... I got down with that, you know what I'm saying? I got down with like the, you know, cutting grad type situation, you know what I'm saying? I done sold some water, shoot, you know what I'm saying? I done <laughs> I done had uh bought all the candy, you know how they give you the, the stuff at the school to sell. I done bought all the candy and then had my own price. You know what I'm saying? So I I yeah, man. <laughs> but I wasn't on nobody neck like that though. I don't want no uh, I just hit him with the little boy smile. You know what I'm saying? Please, how you doing? <laughs> was the uh, selling of candy a good profit? Yeah, yeah, for real. Was yeah, the, everybody liked chocolate? What was the number one seller for you? It was the little bars, the chocolate bars. Like Hershey's plain chocolate bars? Or? Nah, you know they different when they get into your school. It's like another type of company. I don't forgot what company it was, but. They had these little, but they remind you of the Hershey though, like the Hershey bars or whatever. And man, I'm thinking, busting. Everybody like them. Uh, what about cutting grass? Was that profitable for you back then? Yeah, I did a little bit. It was cool. It was cool. I said I did a little bit. <laughs> you know, man, I done, I, I done did all kind of stuff, man. I, like I, you know, I was selling weed when I was little. You know what I'm saying? I done helped my mama, you know what I'm saying, do what she was doing. You know what I'm saying? With the pimping and the hoes and the other drug stuff. Um, man, I done had straight nine to five. You know what I'm saying? I done worked at McDonald's, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, in the like they made me clean the trash can, bro, the dumpster, bro. You know, you know what I'm talking about? Not the... Not the trash can in the corner, but like the dumps in the back, the big green shit. You know what I'm saying? I had to clean that bit. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm, I come from a real humble place. You know what I'm saying? Where I really went out there and got that shit. You know what I'm saying? I done worked at Costco's. You know what I'm saying? Bringing the buggies in, helping people to their car with their, you know, pack pack their stuff in their car, selling weed to the rappers and stuff that came in. You know what I'm saying? So it was always a good little. And my mom used to put me on to the weed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When it came to selling rappers weed, yeah. did you ever end up collaborating with any of those rappers nah, you sold weed to? Nah. And then they weren't all rappers. It was like singers and it was like everybody that cause Atlanta was popping in when I was when I was young, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, it went from doing all that to, like to my song on the radio. <laughs> so just curious if you had uh, sold any any weed to somebody that you ended up collaborating with later in the future. Oh yeah, damn it all on. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you know. Uh, and I, I would tell them like, man, you don't even remember me. You know what I'm saying? Like I I'm, I'm helped you with your uh, your your groceries and stuff to your car. You know what I'm saying? I hey, remember I sold you that. Nah, you don't remember that. I'm like, damn, for real? Yeah. That was going to be my next question. If anybody recognized you from those days. Nah, they didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They didn't even remember. Cause it, and, and I understand, though. You know, I'm a famous dude now myself, so. 
there's a lot of people you come in contact with. You feel me? So now, when it comes to the water boys, just a few more questions. Mm -hmm. Have any of them been disrespectful to you personally? When nah, they, okay. nah, nah. Like you know, I don't know. I, my energy different. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, you know, I ain't finna be on no. I ain't they daddy. You know what I'm saying? I ain't they big brother, I ain't none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? If I do see somebody getting out of line, I'm gonna say, hey little buddy, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna holler at you real quick, like, and I'm gonna give them some game. I ain't gonna get down and throw, I'm gonna give them some game. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't never really seen nobody be disrespectful. I hear about it, you know what I'm saying? And I done seen it like on on like the phone shit. Social you know what media. I'm saying? Yeah. But they ain't, you know what I'm saying? I done had little Pete game. <laughs> I done been at the mall finna walk in and they all the way, not even in the parking lot, they like on the street level of the mall, like the entrance, they come in, you know what I'm saying? They like, hey, scrap, man, come on up here and buy some water, bro. I'm like, how you even know it's me? How you see from way up there? Y'all got some good AI. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn. But they, you know, I, I, like I say, man, like, they hungry and they, they out there getting it, man. Like, I don't know what else we want them to do, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like I say, come up with a strategy. Get you a little table or something. You know what I'm saying? Get you a little little money counter. Everybody just, we're going we, we to go in for some water. We're going we gonna to put cases over here. Somebody want to come up here and support us, buy cases. We, gonna, we got that. People want to buy single. They get us a little... Uh, some little um, coolers, you know what I'm saying? Put them on ice, you know, man. Some of them things be hot as hell, man. They finna be summertime. The fuck we doing? <laughs> if a water boy is so happening to watch this interview right now, mm -hmm. anything else you would say to them? Man, keep selling water, but just do it in the right way. Do, be be kind of respectful, love, cause like, I mean, everybody got mamas and daddies, you know what I'm saying? Sisters and brothers, babies. It might be your people running into the water, another water boy, you know what I'm saying? And you want them to be, you know, you want them to be comfortable when they run that shit. You know what I'm saying? Treat your people straight, man. You feel me? Don't get no case, you know what I'm saying, trying to sell some water, bro. That ain't a good thing to go to jail Stop talking about. You know what I'm saying? Like, that ain't, mm. you either going to sell water or you going to rob. Like, don't, don't do both. <laughs> and for time reference, it's April 2021. Yeah. yeah. 